Welcome to Neural Designer. In this video, we are going to show you how to test the predictive model resulting from an approximation project. To carry out this tutorial, we use a Yacht Hydrodynamics modeling project. The objective of this study is to predict the hydrodynamic performance of sailing yachts from dimensions and speed. In the previous videos, we have explained how to set the neural network and how to train the model, therefore, we will start from that point. Once we have trained our neural network, we can run different tests to determine if the predictive model is ready to make predictions. To do that, we are going to use the testing subset. By default Neural Designer has selected 20% of the whole dataset for testing. First, in the Task Manager, we are going to click on Perform Linear Regression Analysis. This method perform a linear regression analysis between the scaled neural network outputs and the corresponding targets for the independent testing subset. As a result, it appears a table that lists the linear regression parameters for the scaled output resistance. The intercept, slope and correlation are very similar to 0, 1 and 1, respectively, so the neural network is predicting well the testing data. It also appears a plot of the linear regression analysis for the output. Then, we can click on Calculate Error Data Statistics. It appears a table with the minimums, maximums, means and standard deviations of the errors between the neural network and the testing instances in the dataset. It is a valuable information for testing the quality of a model. We can also click on Calculate Error Data Histograms. The error data histograms show how the errors from the neural network on the testing instances are distributed. The chart obtained depicts the errors distribution for the output resistance. Finally, we can click on Calculate Maximal Errors. It appears a dialog in which we can set the number of instances with maximal errors we want to see. In this case, we select 10 instances. As a result, this task shows a table that lists the 10 instances with maximum errors for the output resistance in order to alert of deficiencies in the model. In conclusion, we have seen that the predictive model has good accuracy. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one.